Top of the time zone to you all. It is Freddie J here with Freddie J Sports. We are back playing the World Tour mode of PG Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004. Our next champion is going to be Jim Furyk at Spyglass Hills. This is going to be the first time we're playing at Spyglass Hills in a while. It's actually going to be the first time playing this game in I don't know how long, but I promised that we was going to do some Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004 gameplay, and here we are. This is coming straight off of playing uh the pga tour 2k23 so we're here right now giving you all the action i do apologize for not having audio i did not want to get copyright strike on youtube so let's go ahead and get going here's the cutscene. do i want to put money on this match sure why not i only have 2300 dollars. i'm gonna drop a band on this Let's go. Since joining the tour in 1993, Jim Furyk has been one of its most consistent performers. Jim has won seven PGA Tour events and has won at least one tour event each season since 1998. His favorite town seems to be Las Vegas, where he has won the Las Vegas Invitational three times. He's an avid follower of the Pittsburgh Steelers, and he and his wife Tabitha live in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. Y'all about to see one of the weirdest swings in golf. I actually try to emulate a little bit of his swing in real life too because I've been having troubles uh, swinging the ball. I've been having a duck hook for the longest time, but ever since I tried to raise the club up like how he does. But his play on the PGA Tour that he can hold it from anywhere. Now it's up to you to see if you can match him shot for shot in this round of the World Tour. But yeah, you're going to see his swing and we're going to look at it and like oh my goodness how weird it is but let me tell you it works i haven't been able to emulate it fully as sometimes i might slice a little bit now but uh yeah we're about to get started first shot 595 yards this is a par five so best believe uh we're gonna try to go for it here in fact i'm gonna probably try to cut this dog leg a little bit all right oh yeah that might be going a little bit to the right, but that's going to be okay. But it's going to be on the fairway. Big runs. 314 yards. Watch this swing, y'all. Watch this swing. Well, it doesn't look too bad. When I first saw it, it looked weirder, but not so much anymore. 264 yards. He'll be hitting the next one. And here we are at Spyglass Hill. Here's the second shot. 303 yards to the cup. I think that's a three wood. Oh, no. It hit the trees. In the sand. Oh. All right. Here we go. Here's my second shot. I think uh, the green is a bit narrow. 262 Caddy wants me to lay up. Who do you think you are? Well, I have a... You telling me I can't hit this driver off the deck? No balls. Wow, that went a lot farther than I thought. Well, it's in the rough, so that's not bad. I thought it was, the way it was looking in the air, I thought it was going to be, like, at the cart path. Furyk in the bunker. In the, in the same bunker. I know that i got to be furious. All right, we're in the rough, but we have a good look at the flag here. About 17 yards. Oh my goodness. This is hunting. Oh hell. What, what an eagle. Look at this. Tremendous right there. On to the next hole. We're going one up. While 
relatively short. The second hole at Spyglass plays uphill and is surrounded by trouble, primarily sand and ice plants. Two very precise shots are required to negotiate this classic par four. All right, let's keep that same energy we got right now. First shot. The entire hole is 349 yards. I might elect to lay up here. Instead of going with the driver, I'm going to go with the three wood because I do not want this to roll off, especially since it is downhill. So let's go ahead and do that. You might cheat a little bit and get all the way with this. That's a safe play, 249 yards. We're playing from the black tees today because uh, that's where the pros play. You might beat me on this one. He did outdrive me with a 268, but I just wanted to play safe, so that's that's fine. Second shot. Uphill now. This is 101 yards. I'm not going to play around. Uh, I know in PGA 2K23, I like to shot shape a little bit i don't like doing a lot of shot shaping because uh I'm, I'm not fairly good at it oh snap here we go again right on the money and sticking the landing seven feet to the pin second shot 81 yards Bro playing like he was against. All right. Missed it 10 yards off into the rough. This one just wavered offline a little. He could hold out from here. Shouldn't be too tough a shot. Just got caught up in the fairway. Right on the fringe. Did not want to see that. If this one goes in, it's par. He's stealing one of my moves. Putting off the green. Nothing to be proud of here, I feel. Gonna tap that in. Turn it around. That's a bogey there. Y'all saw how he snatched that that out the cup? This yeah, he didn't like that. Alright, going back to back here. Two shots to win it. Up two for the match. There's a wonderful view of the Pacific Ocean from this elevated tee, which, in the absence of wind, makes this whole place shorter than its yardage. This green is deceptive, sloping from front to back. All right. This is extremely downhill. I am definitely going to club down here. I am not going to play with you. In fact, I might, I might club down even a little bit more. A nice, comfortable nine iron. The crowd's going to go nuts when he hits this thing. Oh, wow. It was a great shot, but apparently the, the the first club was the right club, it looked like. Right on target. Seventeen feet. Put it up close. Jim has to miss it in order to just have it. But Jim can easily get this one to go and make it one up now instead of two. This is for birdie. For the hole. Could not get it done.
This is to stay alive. David, just outside the hole here on the left? Yep, tiny little slicer. Got it done. This one to have the hole. Can't choke here. And so Freddy will go two up still. Now we move on to the fourth. Mind you, this is going to be a best of the entire course. Best of 18. The fourth hole is Robert Trent Jones Sr.'s favorite par four because of its many options. If the hole is in the back of the green, the approach should be played from the right side of the fairway. If in front, then the left side is the better angle. The green, which is encircled by ice plant, is Spyglass Hill's most photographed. I would love to actually uh, go to Spyglass. Of course, that requires money, which I don't have. But maybe one day, especially once I get better. Alright, so I'm going to aim for the left side, but I'm going to use my carry to go a little bit further. Like it's heading for the rough. I'm gonna change that. We stayed on the fairway. 296 yards there. Now we have Jim on the tee. This one's gonna be shorter, but it's okay. Two hundred and eighty-four yards, well done. Here's second shot for Jim Furick. This is right on it. And that's gonna keep rolling. That's right on the money. Oh man, four feet to the pin. We gotta keep it close to even have a chance at it. Whoa. I really like the look of this shot. Oh, We're both God. dancing. This is a birdie putt. I'm a bit further out with a not so a interesting lie. Right on this, one. Maybe about left edge. this is for birdie. Got it! Read it and weep! I like how I get money after we'll successful shots. Four foot for birdie. I'll let him stay two down. Still got a long way to go as we go through the fifth hole right now. The fifth hole at Spyglass Hill is a straightforward par three, framed by ice plant in back and three pot bunkers in front, the center being the deepest and most difficult on the course. Another bunker is hidden from view and awaits stray shots to the right. All right. 192 yards with a little bit of wind here. I'm going to play for that wind a little bit. We got a two iron. Heading for the rough. This one might be a bit short. Into the thick of it. Ugh. Bro, where's the sponsors? Why he has an EA club? This will end up in the green. Yeah, they may be a little bit outside his putting range right there. 15 feet, but you're on the green. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here. Well, that's where I am, but I can't say the same for the ball. It's fine to rough, and it seems to be very comfortable in there. 
with a lob wedge. You can stop now. Good recovery right there to put it three feet. Jim the window hole and go one down. So David, well, might make about three out of ten from this range. Played for the break. Almost had it. Had the right idea. Just didn't finish. We'll take that par. This to have the hole. Freddie needs to keep his nose clean right here. Oh, wow. That was scary. I didn't like how the game froze up right there. Still remains at two up. Here we are at the sixth. Coming up. The character of Spyglass Hill changes from the sixth hole onward. From the tee, players wind their way up and into the Del Monte Forest. The view from behind the green is spectacular. However, the severely downhill chip shot from this position is less than desirable. All right, I'll still have the honors here. That's a big hit right there. Big hit. You got all of this one. Right down the fairway. Big shots. That got to be 300 yards. 284. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm not I'm not that that good. Not that good yet. Liking the spin on that ball. Almost out drove me. Well, but he's closer. All right, second shot, 143 yards. This one will end up on the putting surface. Right, now to spin it back. Good move right there. We're on the green. Granted, it's a long putt, but we're known to make crazy things happen. Here's Furyk, 143 yards out. Second shot. He's hit this really well. Oh, got a lot of good roll on that one. Good bounce, good roll. That one's going to be a bit closer. Nine feet to the pin. He could definitely put that one in. Pressure's on. Twenty four feet. This is looking really good. Can it drop? Oh, my goodness. Got it in there for Birdie. Pressure is now on Jim Furyk. This one for a half. He could definitely make a nine-foot putt. The That's question is, will he do it here? This one is quite makeable. Oh, it burns the edge. Not quite. Had it all the way until the lip of the cup. And so it looks like Freddie will win that one. Going three up. Headed to the seventh. Elevated tee makes the seventh hole a reachable par five. While there are no greenside bunkers, a pond penalizes anything left and short. The right to left sloping green makes chip and pitch shots even more troublesome. This is a tempting hole off the tee, but it requires complete precision from the fairway. All right, here we are at the seventh. You've heard the man. The wind's going to move it to the left so I'm gonna play it with it yep wrong with that shot. It looks good. we may not get all of it 
We may not get 300 yards, but we're going to make it close enough so that way can, we can lay up pretty good. Get this one close on the next shot. 300 yards! Here's Jim Furyk. Currently three holes down. But it's not over. We finally got it right this time around. 291, not bad. Second shot, 245. See how he plays it. Headed nicely for the green. On in two with a Star Trek to the hole. 34 feet. Dibs 30. I don't know if we're going to have a go at the green from way back here. Almost 245 yards, Gary. I can definitely do that. I don't need all of it, but I'm going to try. Off the deck. I don't know if this is going to turn. It did not turn. Couldn't have planned it any better. But it didn't make it to the green either. I was scared I was going to overshoot it. Alright, so we didn't make it on, but we're going to make the next shot a lot better. 18, 21 yards off. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be a nice putt for Birdie. One foot to go. Jim with a chance. Well, I'll tell you more after the stroke. Can I read it then? 34 feet. Hunting. Did not make it. Now four feet out. That's going to be a four-foot birdie right there, so you can't be mad at that. Drops it in. This for a half. This is clearly a gimme. Gets it done. A great recovery for not for not making the green in two. Hole is perhaps the longest hole under 400 yards in the world. The second shot is even more uphill than the tee shot. The green is elevated and crowned with a hole's only bunker protecting its right side. This is Spyglass Hill's number one handicap hole, and it plays like it. All right, looks like I'm going to hit this. Going to aim right here. And then let it hit the mound. This one looks like it's going in the rough, but I'm counting on the hill to drift it back down on the fairway. Oh, looks like the rough ate that one up. No extra bounce on that one. Let's see if Jim can do better. That's going right. Well, not too emotional there, even though that was a spectacular shot. All right, looks like I got a lot of work to do. Jim hit that one for 273. 126 yards on this next one. Eight iron should do the trick here. This one's going to creep on the green. Oh, just barely missed it. 15 feet out. All right, we're on the rough. But it's not too tough, but this is going uphill, so I'm going to club up to a nine iron. Here's a good one. Should be on the front. Putting the brakes on it to get it close to the hole. Ten feet to the pin. Looks like Jim's going to put this one 17 feet out. This is for birdie. Off the green. 
Oh, almost had it. Just kiss the lip again. Freddy to go four up right here. Well, this one's pretty stock here. Put a good stroke on it. Got a good chance of making it. Don't want to put it too long. Got it! There's that fist pump. Four up now as we head on to the ninth. Not bad for the rookie. The inward hole in the front nine at Spyglass Hill is yet another uphill par four. A massive green, the second largest on the course, is guarded by deep bunkers. The tremendous slope from back to front makes putting from above the hole an unenviable task here. Thank you, Invisible Caddy. All right. Let's look what we got here. First shot. It's 431 yards. Bang! Let's get some spin and zip it back. That's going to be a good shot on the fairway. 266 yards. You act like that's the... Sh you act like that's the three wood. That's the driver, buddy. Unless you got one of those big Berthas. Jim might outdrive Freddy over here. Does so. 276. You want a club that can get you up this slope? I'd hit four. All right, I'm going to trust Faraday on this one. That one's looking a little bit to the right. Let's see if we can get some spin back on the right. Good drift. We're on 10 feet to the pin. Jim got 156 yards to get to the flag. This won't make the green. Oh, the rough ate that one up. It might have had a chance right there, but not quite. Third shot in the fairway. 17 yards out. Let's see if he chips this one. That's a pitch shot. Hunting for the hole. Not quite. Should have aimed for the head right there as he's two feet to the pin. Freddy could go five up with this shot right now. Ten feet. This one's going wide to the left. Will this do it? Oh my goodness, it took a U-turn almost. Right idea, it just didn't fall in. Looked like it went three-fourths the way of the cup. Here's a two-foot tap in. You don't want to chuck, you don't want to choke here, just knock it down. That was honestly a great read, so you can't beat yourself up on that. So after the front nine, Freddy's up four. And this is a reminder for everyone, if you like this kind of content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to Freddy J Sports, the channel for all types of sports entertainment. After two tough, lengthy uphill par fours close to the front, this is a downhill getaway hole to begin the back nine at Spyglass Hill. A drive down the left side may be blocked by a tree which can't be seen from the tee. Any approach which lands past the center of the green will likely bounce over. Now, a live look at Freddy right now. Trying to plan to see what he could do. 407 yards. That looks like my birthday on there. Hmm. Check swing on that. Ripped it and gripped it. This one's going deep like a dish pizza. Two eighty-eight. Well done. Now Jim Furyk on a tee. Currently four down right now in this match play event here at Spyglass Hills.
This one looks like a layup. But don't count him out. That gotta be like 260. 272. Alright, got a little bit of roll right there. Not bad. Second shot, 153 yards to the cup. Certainly picked the right club on this one. Let's see it. Got a lot of roll on that one. Four feet to the pin for Jim Furyk. All right, let's look at it. Oh, snap. Getting a little bit dramatic right here. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. The pressure's on. This is for Birdie. It may be a foot back, but this is straight in, baby. Got it. You don't want to choke on this one. Gagged! And Freddy will go five up, headed to the 11th. A par five underway. The 11th at Spyglass is a dogleg right par five that is reachable in two for those daring enough to cut the corner over the trees. The hole is characterized by a necklace of bunkers protecting the right side of the green. While beautiful to observe from a distance, these bunkers are very costly to play from. I'm going to land in one of them. Unfortunately, I can't cut the trees here, but I'm going to give it a whack. Hit or miss, and I guess I never miss, huh? This one's on the fairway. Two ninety one. Well done. Now Jim Ferrick kind currently five down. Needs to really pick it up right here. He doesn't need to play aggressive on the tee shots. He knows he has a great approach game. So he's going to rely more on that. No need to be aggressive here and mess up somewhere. However, he does get a good drive out of it. 292. Though he drove it a bit further. Go first. And that one's in the bunker. I thought I was going to make it in there. Let's stop. You know I probably will. With a three wood in hand, baby. I could possibly play it safe right now. I'm going to play it in the center. Put a little extra catch up on that. And this one's hunting. 10. 5. Oh my goodness, it flew wide past it. Very nicely done. It hit the green, but it was a hard bounce to make it flew right out. Jim Furyk in the bunker, 31 yards to the cup. Can we get a hole out? Ah, oh, not quite. Freddy. Currently 17 yards. Tightens it up. Puts it within one. Fourth shot. We can hold out for birdie here. There's Furyk. Good chip and run. Let's see if it turns. It does not turn. And that may have cost him. What a shot. We'll win that one with a birdie. Six up for Freddy.
heading to the 12th, a par 3. Par 5's giveth. ...on three of the next four holes, starting with a par 3 12th. The left side of this green should never be a target since balls have a tendency to spin off into the pond. If the pin is tucked back left, aim for the middle of the green and walk away with a two-putt par. No, I don't think I will. <laughs> Alright, so what we got here is I'm going to aim right here. Par 5's giveth and par 3's taketh away. Let's see if it happens here. This one's up and it's headed for the right side of the green. Let's put some spin. We're on. It's okay. We're on and dancing. Now, Jim Furyk, this is 190 yards. Can he get closer? Hit this one right on the money, and I think he knows it. I think that was a fade right there. What a shot! Three feet to the pin. That might change the momentum here. Freddie needs ice in his veins to sink this one. Can you believe this? Oh my goodness, he was really right there. That may have not have been ice, but that water was cold. Maybe one degree Celsius right there. And Jim Furyk will win the first hole out of this match. Now he goes from six to five down as we have about seven holes left. The 13th fairway rises steadily uphill as it bends slightly to the left. Another elevated green deflects any offline shot, although a straight run-up shot will work effectively here. Jim Furyk will finally have the whole honors after 12 holes after that performance. Nice little draw. Not a way to keep the momentum right there. Heading into the rough. Like, I saw how it was trying to... Like, what he was trying to do, but it just wasn't enough. Not enough of a turn right there. Now, here we are to do the same. Right where it's supposed to be. Down in the middle. Great shot right there. This is going to be on the fairway. Now, despite losing that last hole, and it was a very close one. It was like, it literally touched a lip. Well, I think this one will be on the dance floor. If that was a punch, it sure did work. Crept onto the green with 18 feet. This looks good. Should be safely on the green. This one's a nice look right here. The ice is freezing. Jim with 18 feet to shut that down. Nothing too tricky in this one. A readable break and moderate speed. It can be had. I saw the vision there with that break, but he put a little bit too much on the left side. Three feet left. But this is for the match. Freddy could win it right here. Can he put in the dagger? This one's going left to right. It's over! Freddy defeats Jim Furyk! 
What a shot! What a performance! The crowd is going wild after this! Wins it in 13. Wonderful. Wins 6 and 5. Congratulations. That was huge. We could have done it with one, one less stroke right there. Again, the 12th, we did not. It wasn't a bad shot. It was just a hair off we could have put the ice in it right there but we still had a great attempt we'll check out the pro shop later but we appreciate everybody for coming out thank you so much actually yeah let's look let's look at our stats let's look at our stats right here yeah yeah we get don't care look at this this is how we beat jim furick with these modifiers our attributes not even all the way there But hey, we did a great job. Appreciate everybody for coming out. Stay tuned for more golfing action, more sports action here on Freddie J Sports. And as always, I'm Freddie J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Until next time, we'll see you.